Hi, my name is Connie Chung, and I'm a fourth year ob resident, and I'll be presenting a case report. And this is an interesting case of acute urinary retention in a pregnant patient after Keytruda use. Starting with my introduction, Keytruda, also known as Prembolizumab, is a humanized monoclonal antibody that inhibits PD-1 activity, PD-1 uh, meaning program cell death, and by inhibiting PD-1 activity, it reverses T cell suppression and induces anti-tumor responses. Uh, Keytruda has been used in the treatment of many different cancers, and it has been studied in uh, many different populations but the very little is known on the effects of Keytruda in pregnancy. Starting with my case presentation, this patient is a 36-year-old G4P2 female who um, was 14 weeks and three days pregnant. She presented to the emergency room with a three-week history of worsening urinary frequency, pelvic pain, and pressure. Her past medical history was notable for non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, and she was previously treated with chemotherapy, bone marrow transplant, and radiation therapy. Uh, she was uh, started on Keytruda for a recurrence that was found in a cervical lymph node six months prior, but she promptly discontinued the Keytruda after she discovered that she was pre pregnant. In the emergency room, she had a pelvic ultrasound, and you, you can see the image of the ultrasound on the right side. This is a, a, a uterus, and uh, you can see that there was a large 15 centimeter uh, unilocular hypoechoic right ovarian cyst. And given this cl uh, clinical picture with the huge cyst on the right and um, her pelvic pain uh, that was concerned for ovarian torsion, so the patient was taken back for surgery. The patient underwent exam under anesthesia and exploratory mini laparotomy. Uh, intraoperative findings showed a normal appearing uterus, bilateral fallopian tubes and ovaries, and there was no evidence of a large ovarian cyst. Upon further examination, uh, a redundant bladder was noted and the Foley bag was filled with 1600 cc's of clear urine. At this time, uh, she was diagnosed with acute urinary retention um, intraoperatively, there was no obvious source of urinary retention. Um, so the patient was discharged home with a leg bag. Uh, the patient followed up with us on post-op day eight and the patient passed the voiding trial. Uh, she also followed up with our urogyne and underwent urodynamic, urodynamic testing, uh, which showed resolution of her urinary retention. And her PVR at the time was 34 cc's. Uh, she came back two months later, and her repeat PVR was 8 cc's. And given that she was still pregnant, the plan was for her to follow up after delivery. For my discussion, um, so after doing some literature review, we noted that there's very little known about the effects of Keytruda during pregnancy, but we did find a clinical trial called Keno 869, which uh, noted a 2.5 incidence of urinary retention in patients uh, using Keytruda in combination with Enfortumab. And in this patient's case, her symptoms improved the farther out she was from treatment, and she did not have any recurrence of urinary retention. We also considered the, if uh, progesterone could have played a role, played a role in her uh, case, uh, as some studies demonstrate that bladder capacity increases throughout pregnancy. Um, but if urinary retention were to occur, it's usually a bigger issue in the later, gest later gestation. Uh, in conclusion, this case is unique as there's a lack of literature surrounding Keytruda use and the side effects in the peripartum population. And given that Keytruda and many other immunotherapies play a large, ro large role in the treatment of cancers, um, there is benefit in future research on this topic. Thank you.